Hey gang, it's Rob from ITMatchKey.com and in today's video we're going to find out should you take the current version of Security Plus or should you wait for the new version? Hey gang, do me a quick favor, subscribe to the channel and like this video so I can continue to make content just like this. So if you haven't heard, CompTIA is going to be coming out with a new version of the Security Plus exam in November. So a big question is, should I take the version that's out right now or should I wait until November to take the new version? So the current version that's out is the 501. It came out a few years ago around July 2017 and it isn't set to retire until next year, July 2021. So if you're in a hurry, the quick answer is no, don't wait at all. Take the Security Plus ASAP as soon as possible. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you why. So one of the biggest reasons that I think that you should take the current version of Security Plus and what I'm pushing all my students to do um, is not going to Security Plus is because there's so much material in regards to the 501. We kind of have a better grasp as to what to expect on the 501 as opposed to the new version of the 601. Nobody's taking the test, nobody has any study material for it as opposed to the Security Plus that's out right now, the 501, there's a bunch of material out for it. In fact, over at itmasterkey.com, we have a full Security Plus course that'll get you prepared for the current version of the exam. And we're actually working on the 601 as well, and that'll be out, but by then, everybody that's watching this video is gonna be certified, so hopefully we won't have to worry about that. So in short, you should take the current version because there's so much more material and there's actual case studies and people that you can talk about the exam with. Hey, what was the exam like? Um, what did you see? What do you think I should study? You should tip, you, excuse me, you can get certain tips, I was dead swallowing my tongue. You can get tips and stuff like that from people that have already taken the exam, right? So the 601 until, you know, people start going through and material gets better and stuff like that, you kind of don't know, right? So since this has been out for a couple years, if you come rock out with me, which you should, you know, you'll have material that is what's gonna be on the exam, at least not the actual damn exam, not the questions, not stuff like that, but the actual material that's covered on the exam will be covered in um, my course. And actually um, on this actual channel, there's other videos um, that reflect Security Plus questions as well. So. 501 is what I would take. That's what I'm pushing everybody towards. And another thing, um, another big reason why you should just take the exam is because Security Plus is Security Plus. Meaning that if you get the 501 or the 601, both of them hold the same value, right? So employers aren't gonna care which version you got. They're just gonna care if your um, certification is not expired, just to make sure that it's valid. But if you got the 501, you Security Plus certified. If you got the 601, you Security Plus certified. So I would just advise to you that uh, you should take the 501. Hopefully you uh, heed my advice um, because like I said, with so much uncertainty in the world, with things going who knows what direction, you know, day by day, I would pretty much tell you to hedge your bets on just knocking it out right now. Because hopefully, uh, by the time the new version comes out, everybody that watches this video is already certified, and then we don't have to worry about it, okay? So, in short, go take the damn test, and other than that, I'll see you in class.